Good Tuesday morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. The time is 7.54. We are live at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. We're at Epcot. Meredith Shaw, Devo Brown here with you. And what a great, great morning it's been and a great time we've been having here at Disney. Oh, just the best. And we were able to look a little bit at the African aviary yesterday. We showed you that at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're going to go back there for something incredible, the African elephants. And it's all part of the Caring for Elephants tour. So this is all about the giant elephants that we love, that we protect. Uh, and the experts here go above and beyond to take care of these animals in the very best way possible. We sent our very own wildlife educator, Julian Victor, friend of the show, to go take care of these fabulous giants. Take a look. We're here at the Animal Kingdom theme park where you can experience their largest inhabitants, African elephants. I'm joined with Reagan and just simply tell us about the Caring for Giants tour. Yeah, so uh, Caring for Giants, you can get about 100 feet within some of our largest animals here at the park. You're here up on an observation platform and learning just about the care and more about our elephants behind the scenes. Our Imagineers really want you to feel like you're immersed in the story of Kilimanjaro safaris, which plays definitely into habitat design. For our elephants, they have three kind of main yards that you can see from Kilimanjaro safaris, as well as the backstage space. But out here, you really feel like you're in the African savanna seeing our elephants. So this area is designed for no human or animal context. So how do the caretakers build a trust and bond with the animals? One of the things that really helps the keepers build relationships with these animals is training. So they work pretty much every single day on basic behaviors that help with the elephant's overall care. Um, food is also really helpful in building that relationship. The keepers and the elephants have kind of been working together for such a long time that just by looking at their body movements, the noises that they're making, how much they're eating, the keepers are very in tune to their overall well-being. How do you identify them and how do you remember their names? That's a good question. So yes, we do currently have 10 African elephants here. We have three males and seven females. Definitely takes practice identifying them just by looking at them. For our female groups, I typically have to look at their tusks to be able to tell them apart. Luckily for our five-month-old Cora, she's very small, so she's easy to spot. And then for our males, I usually will have to look at their tail hair, actually, to tell them apart. Wait, who is, who is this? Who is this right here? This right here in front of us, flapping her ears, is Miss Basha. She's actually Hi, Basha. mom to Kianga, who's down to the right-hand side. Oh, nice. What are some of the coolest facts about elephants that visitors can take away from the Caring for Giants tour? One of my favorite things to tell guests is how much elephants eat in a day. So on average, one elephant can can eat about 300 pounds of food. Now elephants are herbivores, so they're only eating plants. So that 300 pounds of food is pretty much just grass and hay and leaves. 